What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today we're going to be talking about the patch notes that came out for Season 11. These are all the weapon changes that are going to be making it into that update. And wow, yeah, a, a lot of people have some crazy opinions about this. So yeah, let's actually get into it. So the AS Val overall did get a range increase. So basically the first range went from 7.5 meters to 9 meters. And for the second range, it went from 20 meters to 23 meters. So basically gives it a better four shot range overall. And for the movement speed, they increased it by, well, basically just making it a little faster by maybe, I don't know, like <laughs> just a very small amount. I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference. So as for the second change, uh, it's the same thing with the M13 every time. They always increase the reload speed, but this time around they also decrease the flinch. So I guess, you know, when you do take some hits, you won't be flinching as much. Um, the reload time, of course, decreased by 10%, making it a lot faster. This is just the overall reload time without any use of fast mags or anything like that. And they also removed the reload penalty for both extended mags, so for large extended mag A and B. Basically, all that is gone. It's gonna re it's gonna reload normally. So as for the 0.300 RTC double stack mag, uh, the reload speed bonus went from 10% to 20%. So yeah, this weapon's gonna be a lot faster. Again, I don't really understand why it's needed. I mean, the reload speed's already fast enough, but apparently they felt the need that they had to make it a little bit faster. I don't know if this is because the mythic. Morningstar came out this season and they want to give people more of an incentive to buy it, but yeah, uh, I don't know. So as for the Kashka, the fire interval did get increased, well, sorry, decreased, went from uh, 1250 milliseconds to 1180 milliseconds, meaning that it can now shoot faster, both faster and all that stuff. So now as for the ZRG 20 millimeter, it's also going to be improved with its movement. It went from 4.0. 61 i guess meters per second to 4.75 meters per second so yeah you're going to be able to uh move a little bit faster with this thing so now we move on to a change that i know has a lot of people confused and a lot of people kind of just weirded out by and i do understand it's the arctic 50 the arctic 50 hasn't really been that useful at least in multiplayer but i know in br it's probably a lot more effective so we do have to discuss the stopping power magazine change so what they did with this is kind of weird, but it's a little understandable at the same time, and I'll explain why right now. But let me just, you know, explain what they did. So they know so the stopping power magazine no longer increases the damage range. It also doesn't increase the damage at all. Uh the no it no longer increases the reload time. So basically you're gonna reload at normal speeds. And the ADS time penalty went from 13% to 5%. And as for the lower tor torso multiplier, it get, got decreased from 1.5 times to 1.2 times. So like I said, a lot of people at first glance might look at this as a huge nerf to the Arctic 50, but I actually did the math and everything because, you know, the damage output that this thing does have by default is 90 if you do have the stopping power magazine. And of course, what makes it powerful is all the multipliers. But the thing is that they never said that they were going to nerf down the multipliers other than just the lower torso multipliers. So with the weapon going back at 85 damage, if you do multiply that 85 by 1.2 times, it actually goes up to 102. So either way, up to like 70 meters or a little bit more, you're still gonna be able to one shot in the same exact areas as before. So either way, uh, with the multipliers being decreased only on the lower torso, it's still not enough to not make it a one shot in the very first range. And keep in mind with snipers, uh, the first range usually go out pretty long, you know, over like maybe 40 meters. So in multiplayer cases, you're probably not going to have an issue like that, given that most maps are pretty close quarters, I would say, or they're not long enough that it's ever going to put you in a situation where you actually need to shoot from that far. As for BR, that's going to be a different situation because obviously you are going to have to shoot from longer ranges. So yeah, it might affect Battle Royale, but as for multiplayer, this is actually a good thing. So now we move on to the AK-47. So the headshot multiplier got a huge, and I mean absolutely huge increase. So the headshot multiplier went from 1.2 times to 1.7 times. So before, I think the headshot damage was around 36 but now it kind of just raises it up to over 55. I think it's like 56 point something. So basically from like over 20 meters, you're gonna be able to actually two shot in the head. And even then it's probably still gonna be a massive three shot if you try to go for longer distance kills. If you do at least land one headshot. 
So I honestly don't really know why they made a change to this. Um, I was thinking maybe are they going to release the AK-47 Radiance again or something like that? Because that's the only reason I would ever think that they would add something like this crazy to the game. But keep in mind this, I think this is also going to affect if you do use the 5.45 round. So maybe if you land like a few headshots there, you're probably going to be able to land a three shot kill as well with that specific ammo conversion. Another potential reason why I think they did this is probably because the AK-47 specifically, since most of the damage is a three shot kill, and even if you shoot in the head, it makes no difference. They probably did that to actually kind of make a difference to the for the time to kill. So I guess they want to make this one on par with the Odin. But yeah, I don't really see a point in using the HVK large caliber after this. That meta is basically going to be dead in the water for season 11. And also, I'm not even that sure if this weapon's even going to be allowed in competitive scenes since you could have like a 50 round mag and still have that multiplier. So it's basically an HVK large cow mag that's a 50 round mag. So now moving on from one of the biggest changes to now one of the most pointless changes, which is the Growl 556. So basically they decreased the first range from 16 meters to 15 meters, which basically did nothing because you could still, you could still four shot beyond that. So it, there's no... I don't even know why they bothered. So now we move on to a change that we could kind of, I think a lot of people that use the PKM could probably agree with. Uh, they decreased the aim shake for the PKM. Uh, that's the only change that they made, but it was kind of necessary, even like if you have the legendary or just the base skin. You do kind of shake a lot when you do fire this weapon. So it still kind of, it had traces of the old recoil pattern, I guess. That's the best way I could say. I mean, back then the PKM used to jump like crazy. Of course, they made a lot of changes to mitigate that, but the aim shake has always been there and I'm glad that they're finally taking it out. So now for the AGR 5.56, both the 30 and the 60 round 5.56 mags uh, did get an increased multiplier, at least in the upper arm. So this may not seem like much given that it doesn't really change the time to kill that much unless you're shooting at a longer range. So yes, I think within the third or the second range, that's where the damage is going to be affected the most. Or at least this is where the multiplier is going to, I guess, come into play. So now we move on to the Lapa, which got an increased second range from 17 meters to 20 meters. So yes, um, I'm not sure if like you're able to three shot within that range, but I think you're able to four shot if I'm correct. So yeah, I mean, an increase for the range is probably a good thing for the Lapa. But again, I mean, it's always been kind of like one of those weapons that didn't really need to be touched. But I guess whatever, that's fine. So now we move on to a change that I'm surprised a lot of people are not discussing because this is actually a pretty big one, especially for a pistol. So for the J358, of course, has that stopping power reload that has always been able to one shot on the head, but now they're actually kind of improving that one shot area. So now uh, the stopping power reload chest multiplier went from one times to 1.1 times. So you may not think that's really enough uh, given how this gun works right now, but they did mention that the damage phase is gonna go from you know, from like 82, 60, 40, 34, and 25. So basically, there's going to be a new first range, which goes up to, I think, 5 meters. But of course, it can be improved with the stopping power reload, as well as the long barrel. So basically, you're going to be able to one tap on the chest with the stopping power reload up to, I think, I think a little below 15 meters. I can't remember the calculations uh, like immediately, but keep in mind, the stopping power reload does increase the damage like pretty massively but not enough to make it to 100 but enough for the damage to at least make it to 100 when you have that chest multiplier so yeah you're gonna now be able to one shot on the chest and i actually want i actually want to see how people are going to react to that but hell it might actually be one of those things where it could rival the renetti now so now we move on to the final weapon change which is actually the renetti so the burst delay went from 300 milliseconds to 280 milliseconds meaning that it's going to burst a little quicker than before but that's basically it but it, it might actually serve to help the player a little bit more i, I don't know i'm that I, like the renetti is my most used secondary but uh that's probably something i'm gonna have to see for myself so now we move on to all the other changes, which of course involve the grenades, the score streaks, as well as the perks. So first off, the gas grenade got improved effective radius from 7 meters to 8 meters, and the napalm strike also got a reduced activation score, so now you're going to be able to earn it a little bit faster. As for tracker, footsteps visibility duration increased from 6 seconds to 9 seconds. Um, I, I don't really see a lot of people using tracker, but whatever. 
Um, as for martyrdom, the explosion radius increased from 4 meters to 5 meters. I just kind of wish that they would increase the... I guess the sound where the enemy player would actually be able to hear the little beeping sounds, but... I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is this is probably one of the dumber changes. And as for Iron Lungs, they have the breath hold duration increased from five seconds to six seconds for all of you guys that may use it. I do, I do see kind of like a bit of people use this. I, I know Iron Lungs doesn't seem to be like one of those perks that gets used that often, but trust me, it, it does actually get used quite a bit. So as for Demo Expert, the explosive damage boost got increased from 30% to 40%. So as you guys know, for a demo expert, that's the one that increases the explosive damage, of course, as it says. But also, this was the perk that helped the NE45 become good. And the thing is that the NE45 was nerfed a very long time ago, around like two years at this point. And this was the perk that made it good. So this might actually improve the NE45, but I'm not really sure by how much. It also depends on the explosive damage for the NE45 itself. But we might see a slight return to that weapon. But there you go, guys. That's basically all the changes for the patch notes. Of course, when the major update does come out, um, I'm hoping that they have some different optimizations I could discuss. But yeah, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. I don't know if I said that already. But yeah, anyways, have a wonderful day, guys.